so like some friendships, you know, you meet online. Now they've created their own how-to guide on how to build deep, authentic friendships. So we have the co-authors of I'll Be There, But I'll Be Wearing Sweatpants joining us this morning. Jess Johnston, Amy Weatherly, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and I love Thank that you, you for having us. No, I'm so glad to have you because, you know, so many people when you're not in school anymore, it's hard to make new friends. And you met on the Internet. Yes. Three years ago. Yes. Uh, but you also have a San Diego connection. One of you is in Santa Barbara. One's in Texas right now. But tell us about how you met and how San Diego was part of it. Yeah, Jess and I were in a writing group together and I was I started off as just a fan of hers. I, <laughs> I admired her work. I loved the way she wrote. I loved the way she approached things. And she's just real and just down to earth. And so I just, I, uh, I slid into her DMs and just sent her a message and was like, hey, I really, I love what you do. I, I would love to work with you. I'm just, I think you're so great. Aww. And then it just, the conversation just turned and, you know, then went to phone calls and then eventually led to us starting Sister I Am With You, um, which is our Facebook page and Instagram page. And then we finally met in person and that was in San Diego. <laughs> That's awesome. We I, love San Diego. Just <laughs> tell me, what was it like for, you know, your buddy to slide into your DMs where you're like, oh, <laughs> I like this or oh, not? <laughs> loved her right away. Okay. She was so genuine and wonderful. And it was it was very quickly that we I realized we were like cut from the same cloth. Oh. We, we just connected very easily. And when we first met in person, it was a little crazy, you know, because we've only talked on the phone <laughs> and on FaceTime. So I was a little bit nervous. Like, is this going to be normal? But oh my gosh, when I when I met her for the first time, it was just like, seeing a sister like it was just perfect oh, it was meant to be and you were both in this it was writing, meant to be yeah and you were both in this writing group which uh you know leads me to the next question you uh you know we don't know how as adults to become friends because there's no book that like teaches us but you guys have yes. created a really cool book tell us all about it Yes, I just, I wish that I could trade some of my high school classes for number one, how to do my taxes, and number <laughs> two, how to build good and deep Aww. friendships. Um, this book is just the roadmap that we wish we would have had. And I think the, the core thing about this book is that if you're lonely, if you struggle with friendship, if it makes you anxious, you are not alone. We're all in it together and we can do it together. Yeah, I think so many people get, you know, wrapped up with work once they're gone past high school and college, right? And you just get overwhelmed yes. and then you're like, wait, I'm lonely. It's like a Friday night yes. and I have nothing to do and no one to hang out with. And that's, you know, a bummer. Uh, so what do you hope people take away from your book? What's like one main message that we should all learn? We really want to empower women. We want them to know that they're okay and they have something to give and they just have to get out there and do it. And it's going to be awkward and it's going to be weird. And sometimes it's going to work and sometimes it's not, but we want to empower them that they are exactly what the world needs. They just have to show up as their real self and just give make connections meet people and um just work on cultivating those friendships it's a beautiful thing yes. but we want them to feel less alone and we want them to feel like they can absolutely do this <laughs> i yes. think just hearing you is the motivation people need right here <laughs> i love one of the <laughs> chapters the title is when you can't amazon prime your friendships obviously <laughs> we amazon prime so many things all the time but you can't like buy a friend so what are ways that we can make new friends I think Amy always says that you have to be like Ariel and be where the people are okay. that you have to put yourself out there that you have to um I think one thing is to expect it to be awkward I used to think oh this is awkward I'm just bad at this there's something wrong with me but it's gonna be awkward right at first it's a little awkward to be like hey you want to go get coffee sometime I see you have kids I too have kids you want to hang out like that can be a little bit awkward but that's okay it's awkward for everybody but it's also the first step to friendship. And this is not just something like for dating. I mean, I think that's where you always think yes. online dating only, but no, online friending should be a normal thing, right? Yes. It should totally yes. be a normal thing. I mean, you have to do it carefully. You're right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely proceed with caution. But yes. I mean, I don't know what I would do without Jess. My life would be completely different if we hadn't. Yes. 
if we hadn't built this friendship and built this thing. And it is always about that first step. I think that's so important. That first conversation could change everything. That one message you send to somebody could change your life. That next person that you meet might be the right person. That yeah. might be the friend that you're looking for. So take yeah. the chance. Oh, and the fact that you were like admiring Jess and decided, hey, I'm going to send her a note and tell her that I like her style. <laughs> uh, yes, nobody you... hates compliments. Right. Nobody no, hates compliments. nobody does. Nobody <laughs> hates being told that they're doing a great job nobody hates that <laughs> I am curious when you guys came to San Diego it was like almost probably felt like a first date right I mean what did you guys do when you 100%. got here <laughs> we went straight to a restaurant I wish I remember what it was called okay. and it was we ate we ate the hugest cheeseburgers <laughs> that we'd ever seen and I think one of the first things Amy said to me was like wow you you can eat a lot <laughs> Okay. That's I was, like bonding over I was food. impressed. <laughs> That's awesome. And I do think it takes a bit of bravery to do what you did. You know, you met online yeah. and like, let's meet in person. Uh, so you also created this online community, Sister, I Am With You. Uh, what's that mm -hmm. all about? Can people take part in this? Absolutely. It's just an, an online place where we write, we share our thoughts, um, and we just, we write and we've tried to build this community. And I have to say, it is the most positive place, I oh. think, on the internet. Like, it is so rare that we get a negative comment. And we have almost a million followers. And it is just this beautiful, loving community. Jess and I write um, back and forth. We just kind of do it as a team and collaborate on that. And, yeah, anybody's welcome. We want, we want all women there. More than a yeah. million followers. That goes to show, you know, people are needing this bond, this connection with yes. people. Yeah. Um, I'll be there, but I'll be wearing sweatpants. Where can people get your book? On Amazon, at Target, um, it, it releases on January 25th. So it's available for pre-order right now. Wonderful. Yeah. Amy and Jess. And your local bookshops too. Yes, okay. local bookstores. Local bookshops. We want to support them. Yes, we sure do. Thank you both so much for being on. Thanks for what you're doing to bring people together. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>